Assault? Damn it, Scotty! Aggravated assault. I still get pissed looking at that shit. On October 24th, 2022, you know who I assaulted? The goddamn PlayStation that I bought. Huh? Immediately after I called my children's mother to let her know of what happened, she had no idea, and that everyone was safe and sound, and that the only one that was hurt were feelings because the PlayStation was assaulted. The next day, I take the kids to school, and that evening, I get a knock on the door, and later on arrested because they said I assaulted. Holy shit. Why would you call the cops and lie to them when I told you what happened? We don't know. So now I'm in jail, start reading and find out that they can resend or modify at any time. And you see, that's exactly what they did. You see, they dropped assault. There's no assault. Okay. And I'm just left with discharge of a firearm and child neglect. So I tell my attorney, you see, I'm no deadbeat. They're dropping charges. Somebody over there needs to change their name to Dazzle. Or reach God. Reaching like a mother. Being incarcerated six months, I study case law every day. So now, I'm a certified jailhouse lawyer. That being said, I found loopholes that I could beat the case with. Corpus delecti, habeas corpus, adversarial preliminary hearing hypothesis of innocence, things like that. But trusting these attorneys, they say, hey, that goes against my best interest. We recommend we not do the adversary preliminary. We recommend we not do the habeas corpus hearing. So I don't do it. When I had all the information and case law backing why I would have won the case. Per the attorney, we requested a plea. So then these dirty motherfuckers come back with a plea that's worse than my original charges. So they took my original charge, which is a misdemeanor, and amended it, upgraded that bitch to a second degree felony, punishable by 15 years in prison. Are you fucking kidding me? And since my health and my finances wouldn't allow me to stay in jail another six months, I was forced to take this horrible plea because God knows I would have sat. Pause. Now I can't get a job selling life insurance or any job for that matter because people think I'm this horrible human being. I'm this guy with MS who takes his kids and throws missiles into daycares. And did I mention the hardest part? The hardest part is killing me. Is it's been 312 days since I've been able to talk to or see my kids. And the way that somebody has it set up is if my kids reach out to me, I could go back to jail. So now I'm fighting this uphill battle with multiple sclerosis by myself to try to get my babies back, man. So pray for me. You'll see. You can't keep the dog down for too long. Love. And a lot of niggas are nice, but they are not him. There's really nothing that you can do to stop him. Call him the God MC, just like Rock him. And he done took some L's, but yeah, he got wins. Wins. Motherfucker.